Hello friends, I am Saurabh. Let's have a look at simple problem today which is how to find minimum depth of a binary tree. So the problem statement is given a binary tree we have to find the minimum depth of the tree. Minimum depth of a binary tree is the length of shortest path of all paths from root to any leaf. Let us take one example to understand the problem. Consider the following binary tree. So first path from root to leaf consists of nodes 1, 2, 4, 8 and 11 and the depth of this path is 5. Consider next path from root to leaf. It consists of nodes 1, 2, 5 and 9. Depth is 4. Next path has nodes 1, 3 and 6. Depth is 3 here. Final path from root to leaf is 1, 3, 7 and 10. Depth is 4 here. So the minimum depth of this binary tree is 3. Now let's have a look at the algorithm for solving this problem. These steps will be explained in detail with an example in subsequent slides. Do not worry if you do not get it right away. If root is null, return 0. If root is leaf, return 1. If left node of the root is not null, recursively call get min depth to get left depth, else set left depth to max value. If right node of the root is not null, recursively call get min depth to get right depth, else set right depth to max value. Finally return 1 plus min of left depth or right depth. Let us understand and visualize the algorithm through an example. Consider the following binary tree. Let us start with the code visualization. First step is to check if root is null. It is not. So we move on to next step. Now we check if root is leaf or not. It is not. So we move on to next step. Next we check if left subtree of the root is null. It is not. So we recursively call get min depth for left child to get min depth of left subtree. Since we are calling get min depth function recursively, we store function state in a call stack so that when execution of call for the left subtree returns, we can resume execution for current function. Now root is pointing to node 2. Again we check if root is null. It is not, so we move on to next step. Now we check if root is leaf or not. Yes, it is a leaf node, so we return 1, as depth of leaf node is 1. We go back to the previous call stack where root was pointing to node 1. Here we have calculated left depth and now we move on to next step where we check if right subtree of the root is null. It is not, so we recursively call get min depth for the right child to get min depth of right subtree. Now root is pointing to node 3. We check if root is null. It is not, so we move on to next step. Now we check if root is leaf or not. It is not, so we move on to next step. Next we check if left subtree of the root is null. It is not, so we recursively call get min depth for left child to get min depth of left subtree. We again store the current function state in call stack and now root is pointing to node 4. Now we check if root is null, it is not, so we move on to next step. Again we check if root is leaf or not, it is not, so we move on to next step. Next we check if left subtree of the root is null, it is not, so we recursively call get min depth for left child to get min depth of left subtree. Again we store current function state in call stack. Now root is pointing to node 6. We check if root is null. No it is not. We move on to next step. We check if root is leaf node. Yes it is. So we return 1 from this function call. Again we go back to the previous call stack where root was pointing to node 4. Here we have calculated left depth as 1 and now we move on to next step to calculate right depth. Since right child of 4 is null, we return integer dot max value as depth. Because for an internal node, null child cannot be considered for calculating min depth. Finally, we return 1 plus minimum of left depth and right depth. So 2 is returned from here. Again, we go back to the previous call stack where root was pointing to node 3. Here we have calculated left depth as 2 and now we move on to next step to calculate right depth. Since right subtree of root is not null, we call get min depth function recursively for right child. We store current function state in call stack. Now root is pointing to node 5. Since root is not null, we move on to next step. We check if root is leaf node. Yes, it is leaf node. So we return 1 from here. Again, we go back to the previous call stack where root was pointing to node 3. Here we have calculated right depth as 1 and now we move on to final step where we return 1 plus minimum of left depth and right depth which is 2 from here. Again we go back to our previous call stack where root was pointing to node 1. 
here left depth is 1 and right depth is 2 so finally we return 1 plus minimum of left depth and right depth which is 2 here so minimum depth of this binary tree is 2 time complexity of the algorithm is order of n have you checked our iDeserve web portal at www.ideserve.co.in? We are uploading new topics every day on our web portal. Please check it out and leave us your feedback. Please let us know your valuable suggestion on current topic. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our iDeserve channel. Like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you.